<laughs> That's so bad. Good morning, everybody. I'm Adam Bilsing, and this is the Oregon Drum Project, where we do daily deep dives into every aspect of the art of drumming. Today is day 104, and our topic is Flams Don't Have to Be Accents. If you'd like to practice along with me, I'm working out a stick control today. Everything will be at 60 beats per minute, and I'm running pages 16 through 19. So let's get started with these flams. All right, so here we are over at the practice pad. Uh, these flams are pretty tricky and they're kind of kicking my butt so far, but I already have noticed a little tendency that I'm doing and it seems like a pretty good flam lesson, so let's get to it. Um, I am noticing that I have a tendency to accent these flams. Like I want to play them louder, which seems kind of natural because you need one hand above the other to get the flam to come out right. So there's kind of some big stick heights to deal with and it tends to make the flams a little louder than the rest of the notes. But it's important to remember, a flam does not mean an accent. Those are two different things. You can have unaccented flams and accented flams and that's all part of the control. So I've been trying to keep everything even and keep the flams at the same volume level as the rest of the notes. I'm gonna take exercise uh, 50 off of page 18 here in stick control, and I'm gonna show you sort of the right way and the wrong way. Uh, we'll start with what hopefully looks like the right way, even though I'm still struggling through it a bit. Okay, so we're gonna start with the correct version, keeping all of these notes as level volume-wise as possible, trying to keep everything uh, very similar, no noticeable accents. Here we go. Okay, that's not bad. Fairly even, I still have work to do. Now here's an example of doing it the wrong way with uh, the flams very accented and the rest of the notes very unaccented. Here we go. All right, so there you can see the differences. The point isn't that you should never play flams accented. The point is that it's really easy to play them accented on accident, and you want control over whether or not your flams are accented. Like always, control is key because control equals freedom, and you want to be free to express yourself behind the drum set any way that you choose. All right, so that does it. Flams don't gotta be accents. Now you know. So uh, we're gonna wrap that up and call it a day for day 104 of the Oregon Drum Project. That's 104 days working towards my ultimate goal of ecstatic improvisation through technical mastery of the drum set. Basically means I wanna freak out real good. Special thanks as always to my buddy, Mr. Silas himself, producing these videos over at Red 11 Media. Also shouts out to Los Cabos Drumsticks, which I've been using for a long while now and like a whole lot. And my old favorite practice pad, the Evans Real Field. If you'd like to follow along with the project and catch all the episodes, go ahead and like and subscribe below. You can also follow me on Twitter at Dirty Bandana over on the social network Minds, also at Dirty Bandana, or you can catch all the details for everything about the Oregon Drum Project at DirtyBandana.com. That's it. See y'all next time.